Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Flyout yet again, and I believe Flyout is now accessible to everybody. It is actually for sale on Steam, so I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. Anyway, today what I want to do is build something kind of weird looking and hopefully kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get on with it, and hopefully it'll look pretty good. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off by going to Fuselage, there we go, let's go to the 64, actually no, uh, no, we'll go with 64, uh, and essentially what I'm going to do here is build a backwards aircraft. If you guys have ever seen the B-17 with the engines on the, I guess like the horizontal stabilizers actually at the front, it's kind of weird, uh, but that's what we're going to sort of go for today. So let's go ahead and sort of make ourselves a nice little fuselage and we'll go from there, I guess. <laughs> Don't know how this is going to go, but anyway, extend this backwards. There we go. Excellent. We'll drop this down to 0.75. There we go. And do the same thing right here. Very nice. Let's raise this up and we'll actually continue it backwards from there. Don't know how this is going to go, but I'm sure it'll be fine. 0.4. There we go. And 0.4 right there. Excellent. And we'll drag this one up to a car, very nice, and um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and continue that backwards. We're also going to go ahead and make the front end as well, so let's just go ahead and see what we can come up with. We break up and you slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back That attraction, we can't fight that Okay, so there's our fuselage right there. Uh, I didn't say this thing was actually going to be a bomber. Uh, I just said that the main wing is going to go at the back and the horizontal stabilizer is going to go at the front. That is literally the only thing we're going to take from that. How is it going to look? I'm not so sure, but we're going to try and figure it out. Now, one of the things you'll have noticed is I actually added a loop in right here. Now, I added this loop because I do actually want to make the cockpit go in this section right here if we can. So that is why that is there. Um, I'm not the best at making these look good, so this is going to be kind of interesting, but yes, let's go ahead and start working on a bit of a cockpit here. Okay, so, uh, let's go to this guy right here. I think we're going to go to vertexes, which is interesting, and maybe I should have stayed uh, relatively simple uh, and gone with the 35 instead. Oh, uh, the 34, 32, I'm not sure how many it was. Anyway, uh, we are going to go ahead and grab most of these, and we're going to have to drag them down. Main reason for that is because I want the cockpit to, to go down, so let's go ahead and do this. Actually, we need to go ahead and grab these guys as well and drag those down to around there. Uh, and yeah, this is going to be kind of an interesting thing for me because I'm not very good at building uh, in this game, but let's go ahead and see what we can come up with. So, these guys are going to come up here. Uh, just like this. In fact, maybe this is a good thing to time lapse because there's going to be a lot of working out here. Uh, we're going to have to push some of it backwards, some of it forwards, and stuff like that. And hopefully, we can make this look uh, really nice. So, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so that is where we are currently at. Does it look weird? Yes, maybe a little bit. Uh, is the pilot even sat in there? Now he is. There he is. 
Um, and honestly, that's fine for now. It does look a little bit strange, and we aren't going to be doing an interior, because honestly, I don't really want to, so there you go. Right, cool, so we've got that. Now it's time to actually add the wings, because that's one of the most important bits of this. So let's get to it. All right, so how are we going to go ahead and do this? Well, we're going to go to lift straight away. Let's go to this guy. And honestly, right at the back, we're going to go ahead and shove this on. Uh, we're going to give it a leading edge and a trailing edge, of course. We're going to go ahead and shove this straight into there, which may be a bit weird, but that's okay. We're going to grab each and every one of these, and we're going to drag that to there. Honestly, that seems a little bit weird, but it's okay. We're going to drag this forwards. We're going to go to each of these guys, and we're going to make it chunkier, which might seem a bit weird. And we're going to extend these guys forwards a little bit too. Yeah, so that seems kind of odd to begin with. However, if we go back into this, and we split it just like so, that'll be fine. We're now going to go ahead and edit this guy. Grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we're going to send those out to around here. We are going to need some engines, so they're going to go on here somewhere. But I think if we extend those out to there, that could be pretty cool. We're also actually going to go ahead and bring this guy backwards. And this guy and this guy backwards, just a little bit like so. We're going to make this guy a little bit skinnier. And we're going to go with that. Okay, it looks weird, I know. But don't worry just yet. <laughs> Do not worry just yet. Alright, grab all of this. Drag it down. I want it to sort of connect together in the center if I can. There we go. And then... I actually want this guy to come out a little bit, just so that it fits a little bit better. There we go. Nice. It is kind of odd, but don't worry. Okay, so the next thing is actually going to be another bit of fuselage. We're going to go for the less detailed one, because I feel like the other one was too detailed. There's too many parts to it. I wanted less. All right, so now that we've got this, uh, what I want to do is make it a lot smaller. We're going to go down to 0.5. There we go. And 0.5. There we go. We're going to do the same thing at the front. 0.5 and 0.5. And hopefully that looks okay. Which indeed it does. Uh, and then hopefully we can bring it out to the side. To around there. There we go. And we'll shove a jet engine in there. Okay, so if we go to power. There we go. Turbine. Excellent. We can actually shove that directly into the center of there. Which is quite nice. We're going to go to the diameter and make that real big. Until it pretty much fits. And, yeah, we're going to send the entire thing backwards quite a lot. There we go. I know that seems a little bit weird, but don't worry about that just yet. We are going to go backwards, and we're going to add a nozzle to this. There we go, variable nozzle. Uh, and actually, we'll bring this forwards from there. We're not going to put an afterburner on this, because I don't want to. But, um, yeah, we'll leave that like that. Okay, let's go to this guy. Let's go to segment. There we go. Send that backwards to there. That's awesome. Send this bit forwards to here. Again, that's awesome, because it pretty much fits exactly how we want it to. And then we need the rest of it to fit as well. So, let's go to this guy. We will bring it forwards a slight little bit more. We'll then extrude it again. Bring that forwards pretty much to the end. Make it slightly smaller, 0.4. And 0.4. Excellent. We're going to extrude it again. Bring it out a tiny bit. 0.35. There we go. 0.35 right there as well. Excellent. Extrude it again. Send it backwards. Uh, a little bit like this. Uh, make it even smaller than that. 0.3. And 0.3 again. Here we go. And then extrude it again and send it backwards like this. There we go. Honestly, that's how I want it to look. That looks sick. That actually looks so cool. All right, let's send this into the actual aircraft a little bit there. Good. We have our inlets, and we have our wings at the back. This is starting to look really cool. I like it. Okay, so one of the things that I would actually like to change is I'd like to put 15 in here. That actually makes the engine a little bit bigger. Uh, in order to actually account for that, we're going to just send the engine backwards. We're going to make this one number 5. There we go, so it makes it a little bit bigger. Uh, and essentially changing those digits helps us uh, a tiny bit. Let me go ahead and make it a little bit smaller too. There we go. Honestly, that's really cool. So the, I believe the LPC is for like low pressure. So that helps at low speeds, question mark. And then the higher the number in the HPC, the better it is at high speeds. I'm not entirely sure about that. Also, we're going to increase this to about 1,800. Because I think that'll work a lot better. Uh, and that's going to be cool. Lovely. 
Okay, so I was just thinking about the wings a little bit, and I was thinking maybe extending this forwards would actually make it look a little bit nicer, and honestly, I think that is true. I'm also going to extend it backwards a little bit there, and again, I think that makes it look better too. So, grab this. Actually, grab all of this. We'll extend this upwards, so that the back end is actually inverted into the plane, or into the plane. I don't know what I'm even saying right now. Uh, but yeah, so it actually merges with the plane a little bit better. Uh, we're also actually going to go with this guy and this guy. Bring that out to here. Because I want it to look like that. There we go. Honestly, that's cool. Yes! What a cool looking aircraft. Okay, so something that you can actually definitely see on this is the angles that this is actually coming into here. Uh, you can see it's just very, very weird, uh, including this piece that is actually poking out. So we're going to go back to this guy, and we're going to go back to this guy, and I'm going to have to just sort of nudge this in uh, a lot like that. There we go. I just want it to be a lot cleaner than it currently is. Uh, and in order to do that, we've got to do loads of stuff here. So this guy, I'm actually going to go ahead and push forwards. There we go. It's going to make that bit look a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to go to this guy. And I know it's circular. Uh, it's at 0.75. We're going to go down to 0.74. And 0.73. Actually, 0.73. There we go. I might even go down to 0.7. That might make it look a lot nicer. But yes, um... I've made it look a little bit better there, because it had some weird angles, uh, but now we're good. Alright, cool. So, let's go ahead and put a vertical stabilizer on this thing next, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do it. Uh, let's go to plus, there we go. Let's go to lift. Excellent. Good. Um, I don't know whether to make this look just really weird <laughs> um, or not, because we could actually add horizontal stabilizers at the back as well as the front. Uh, I do think canard type dealios would be kind of cool, but I'm not sure. So we'll actually go with one horizontal stabilizer. One vertical stabilizer, I should say. Here we go. So go with standard. Go with standard. Excellent. Let's fold this upwards. Uh, 90 degrees. There we go. Good. And honestly, this is going to be fine. So let's drop this down on all of them. There we go. Very nice. We're going to drag the ones at the back forwards just until it meets this. And then, I don't know what to do with this piece, actually. Do we want it to send backwards? I think maybe a little bit. We could do something like that. It's kind of odd. It is kind of odd. But then we can go to the front end, drag these guys forwards a little bit. And then maybe these two could come forwards like this. Yeah, I don't think that's too bad. In fact, I kind of like it. Uh, and then from there, we're going to go ahead and cut it. All right, good. And then we're going to extend it upwards. How well is that going to go? I'm not sure, but we will see. So we'll drag that up to there. I'm then going to send this bit backwards a little bit. Honestly, that looks cool already. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab all of these and send them all backwards a little bit. And then this guy and this guy are going to come forwards. Yeah, it's kind of a weird shaped tail, but I think that's actually pretty good. Uh, another thing that I'd like to do as well is actually extend pretty much all of this forwards. So I'd like to do that. And then this piece is going to come all the way up here. Yes! Oh, that suits it so well. That's really cool. Okay, so now that we've got this, I'm actually going to go ahead and try and copy this and use it as our front wing. We're obviously going to change it a lot, but I essentially want to add this to the front end around here. I want it pretty much in line with the one below it if I can, but that might be a bit hard. Anywho, uh, let's go to this guy and this guy. We're going to make it a lot skinnier because at the minute it's really chunky. Uh, we're obviously going to drag this guy backwards because, again, that's kind of big. There we go. And it is going to have to be quite large. But I'm thinking wider rather than uh, long. So let's do this. There we go. Let's grab each of these and send that outwards a little bit. I'm going to bring these two backwards a little bit, including these ones, I think. So we'll do this. Uh, skinny that up at the end. What does that look like? I, I think that's kind of cool. I do think it needs to be a lot further forwards. So let's do that real quick. Here we go. Send this forwards to around here. The further forward it is, the uh, better the experience is going to be with our pitch. So if we edit this and we cut it to there. There we go. Um, nice. Yeah. All right. Sick. I'm okay with that. We now need bigger wings because we can't just take off like this. Although maybe we could. That could be sick. What if we just left it like this? Is that stupid? Maybe. Okay, so our fuel tanks are actually going to go in there, and our fuel tanks presumably are going to go in this side too. 
So we got a fuel tank there. Let's go ahead and do a fuel tank here. And obviously a fuel tank is already in both of these. Yes. All right, cool. Uh, fuel tanks we might as well put in there as well. Excellent. And it's already in this side. Cool. So we've got fuel tanks literally everywhere. Um, this up here, I'm actually going to make skinnier towards the top as well. Here we go. Excellent. And yeah, <laughs> let's go and add some landing gear to this and see if it can even take off. Landing gear, here we go. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and shove it into the engines for right now. I know that's not the best way of doing things, but hey-ho. There we go. Go ahead and grab another one of those, and we'll shove it further towards the front. We only want one, of course. Let's go ahead and shove that in there. And honestly, let's bring it really far forward. There we go. Okay. I feel like the landing gear itself is maybe a little bit too tall as well. So bring this down to like 0.55. Cool. Uh, do the same at the front. 0.55. Sure. Uh, maybe I actually make that a little bit longer. We'll make the diameter a little bit wider. That's okay. And 0.6. Okay. So when this is on the runway, we should be good. Anyway, we need these to retract. So if we put retraction on it, uh, we angle it all the way up like this. But we obviously need it to go forwards rather than backwards. So 180 is what we need. There we go. That's going to be fine. All right, cool. Is this one already got retraction on two? There we go. Awesome. And then this one retracts. Angle this way. There we go. And that is mighty fine. All right, good. So let's lift this up a little bit. Same with this one. Lift it up a little bit so that it fits in. And that's it. All right, cool. Is it going to work? Who knows? Let me go ahead and put some control surfaces on this, make them actually work, and then we'll try and fly. All right, so there we go. I've added some control surfaces. Let's go ahead and get this in and see what it does. It's going to be interesting anyway, isn't it? So I don't know what to save it as, but you guys can give it a name in the comments down below if you guys are watching. Uh, another thing that I would like to do with this as well is obviously paint it a different color. So I think, honestly, I'm going to go ahead and paint it all white. There we go. Um, there is still some like weird glitchy bits of this game. Uh, like painting. That should have painted it all, but unfortunately it didn't. Uh, but that's fine. We can do that ourselves manually. There we go. Go ahead and paint all of that too. And yeah, why is it white? Who knows? It'll be fine. Uh, I also can't seem to paint that piece. Uh, which is odd. Don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I can't paint it, but I can't paint it. So there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and try and paint this piece too on the top. Excellent. And yeah, I would like to paint that piece, but I, I can't. Um, weird. Uh, very weird. Hmm. Annoying. Anywho. Uh, oh, look, I just painted it again and it did the same thing. Yikes. Okay, well, you know what? That's fine. So, it's white for now. We're gonna go ahead and paint most of this, uh, like we can, so that's okay. There we go. As long as I get most of it painted, we should be fine. Uh, and it should look somewhat okay. There we go, all of that. I would love to be able to paint that piece right there, but unfortunately... It's not working out. I don't know why. I don't know why it's not working out. Anyway, uh, can we scale it up, actually? Maybe that'll help. Hey, there we go. So if we scale it, we can obviously paint everything. All right, cool. So that is it. It is in white. Um, it looks a bit odd, but that's okay. Can we select this and then maybe make that bit white anyway? So brightness, there we go. Okay, good. What do we think? What do we think? I also need to paint that piece. Hey, there we go. All right, cool. Let's spawn it in and go. Look at that. It is so shiny. But yeah, let's go ahead and just full throttle and try and keep it on the runway, of course. Uh, our roll, sorry, our yaw is inverted. So we got to watch out for that. But our pitch is correct, it seems. That's pretty good. Uh, I should probably give it some extra wings. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, yeah, maybe we give it extra wings. Also, I need to figure out where our center of mass is. Uh, I would imagine... You know what? That's actually a pretty good location for it. Maybe we do actually just give it some wings. It needs them. All right, just as a, a bit of a side note, I have changed the color of it just to let you guys know it is now that color, which is kind of odd. But yes, that is what color it is. Anyway, scale this down to like that. There we go. And we're just going to add a bunch of these because I can. There's one there, one there, one there, and one at the front. There we go. Does it look weird? Yes, it does. But that's fine. Uh, the other thing we could do is add one of these. Uh, do we want to do that? Probably not. But does it look kind of cool if we did it this way? Yes. Uh, is it is it pointless? Uh, again, yes. Uh, what if we actually made the front of the aircraft a different color than the back? That might be cool. I also really like the idea of having the um, 
the vertical stabilizer be a slightly different color to the rest of it. So maybe we do that. There we go. Let's just do... Let's just leave it like this. Okay, it's weird. Anyway, um, I want to add some extra wings. So let's go to add. Yes, let's go to lift. Grab one of these. And we will shove it on the side of this. Unfortunately, it's putting it on the wrong side. Don't know why it's doing that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and shove that on. We need a leading edge. We need a trailing edge. And we need it to go to the right side, which is over here. Weirdly. I don't know why... I don't know why it was doing that. That's pretty strange. Anywho, maybe it's upside down, actually. Maybe we flip it. So let's do this. Over to there. 180. There we go. Good. Uh, and then maybe we can actually put this on properly. There. Okay, good. I think that's fine. They're a bit of a different height, and that's what I wanted to fix. So let's bring it across to here. Bring this guy forwards. And then we can actually just put it at the right height like that. There we go. Bring this out to the side, which is just there. And I guess we actually send it backwards to the back. There we go. Honestly, that's okay. All right, good. So from there, we're going to go ahead and grab this guy and this guy. And we're going to do this. We're then going to send the wing outwards. Because it needs to be sent out quite far. Just like that. Yes. Uh, and that looks pretty awesome. All right, good. So let's grab these two. Send it backwards slightly more. Oh, maybe we do actually keep it going the same way. So let's just do that. There we go. This guy could come upwards a little bit. And actually... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe this bit shouldn't come upwards. Oh, maybe it should. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. That might be really weird, but sure. So if we click on this... Uh, do, 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 carbon fiber. <laughs> no, 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 no. Default. Uh, let's go ahead and... I guess we can actually just go ahead and paint all again. We're going to do this. Ah, there we go. That's fine. All right, cool. So that's done. And this is done too. Yes. All right. I think that's going to have much a much better chance of actually taking off. Uh, with that being said, this should no longer be roll. And this should no longer be roll. However, this one should be roll. So let's go to this. Roll. Minus 50. Sure. This one's going to be roll at 50. And that's it. That's all we need. Is it going to take off? Maybe. Honestly, I think that looks sick. <laughs> I actually think it looks really, really cool. Uh, again, our yaw is inverted. I should fix that. Uh, but we're not going to worry about it too much just yet. Let's go ahead and try and lift ourselves slowly into the scut. Mm. I wasn't slow enough. We need more weight in the front. Because that's not working out. That is not working out. Right, okay. Uh, so, in order to add weight to the front of this thing, we're going to open this. We're going to go to this point right here, and we're going to split fuselage. Ah, oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> um, and we're going to go ahead and paint all of it again. Yes, there we go. We've got rid of the little diamond things, the hexagons, uh, but that's fine. All right, so we grab this, and we make the thickness of the steel, or whatever it's made of, up to 66. It can only go up to 60, but that's fine. Uh, and that means the center of mass is moved forwards just a little bit more. Excellent. Right, let's try again. Again, I've been silly, and I haven't actually changed this again, but that's fine. We're going down the runway. Not very well, of course. We need steering landing gear as well. That would be a good idea. We don't currently have any. But we're going to try and take off now, so... We're going down the runway. Let's go ahead and try and lift. Obviously, the front end is a lot heavier than it was before, and lifting is seemingly not actually... It's not capable of it anymore. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, so it flies really, really nicely. However, it couldn't take off, which is an issue. But yeah, I actually really like the design of this aircraft. I think it looks sick. Uh, I'd like to paint it a lot better than this, but honestly, my paint skills really aren't very good. Uh, but yeah, I like it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think, but I think this is actually really cool. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that, we've actually reached the uh, the sound barrier. So we're at Mach 0.89. 0.98, sorry. Uh, so we are almost at Mach 1. But we can't quite get there. If we go a little bit higher... Honestly, I think this will actually make it to Mach 1. Uh, our flight time, we only have enough fuel for 12 minutes uh, at this altitude. So let's go ahead and continue up into the sky. And we'll see what kind of speeds we can get once we're up there. Okay, so we went up to 25,000 feet. And if you look down here, we're actually at Mach 1. So this thing does fly 
uh, pretty fast, actually. It's really, really cool. Uh, what we're going to do now is actually turn around and fly back. Actually, should we just try and land down there? What is that? Let's go see what that is. Also, we're going to see how fast we actually go whilst aiming down towards the ground. We're at Mach not point, no, Mach 1.8. 1.08, sorry. Yeah, all right. What is that? It must just be some sort of little building. But yeah, I want to try a landing, which might not be a good idea. Because I don't think I've actually added any brakes, but we'll see. Yeah. Uh, so our max speed there was like Mach 1.08. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and slow it down. All right, cool. Good. Yes. Uh, that appears to be some sort of like silos, I guess. For like a farm. But like there's no farm out here, but that's that's fine. Right, okay. Let's go ahead and wiggle ourselves around. Try and bleed some speed. And we'll try and land this thing. Also, I should actually put some flaps into this. Because uh, that might actually help us take off a little bit. But yeah, taking off obviously didn't work very well. So we need to sort that out. But yeah. Not terrible. Not terrible at all. Also, some speed brakes would actually be pretty good on this thing too. Because it is a little bit faster at the minute. But yeah, let's go down. And do a landing. I'm actually dropping the landing gear already. Nice. Okay, it is worth saying, if you are holding control, you don't actually have any control over your aircraft. So that's a thing. But yeah, down here actually looks very flat. We're still going like 350 miles an hour. But we are on the ground. <laughs> So there we go. Anyway, uh, I think I'm going to end this video here for now. If you guys want to see me do more with this, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see if I can modify this plane a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.